Alright, I'm going to check out this 300 Blackout Side Charging Upper by Bear Creek Arsenal today. Big thanks to them for sending it out. This is their 16 inch Bear Claw. It's got these sweet little stainless steel flutes in it. Got three different types of ammo to test out today. Got the Winchester 125 grain. Then we got some subs, subsonic uh, 200 grain. And then I got these American Eagle 150 grain here as well. Up top, got this C. Lee Eagle Talon 1 to 6 LPVO. Check out the parts, accessories, and optics playlist for more on that. I'm going to start out here 50 yards on this half scale silhouette, get her zeroed, and maybe print some stuff down here at 100 yards. Not sure yet. I got my gong out there, 200. And it may take some longer range shots as well. We'll just see how the day goes. So I'm going to start the zero with these uh, subsonics here. Since I don't intend to do a whole lot with these, I'm going to need the more power stuff, powerful stuff to reach out further anyway. So I don't think uh, subsonics really going to drop a whole lot at 50 yards. So I'm going to start out with the subsonic here to get it zeroed. And then we'll recheck zero with these two at 50 and 100 yards as well. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I want to thank my buddy John, who I actually met down here just a little while ago. He gave me this 300 blackout ammo. So huge shout out and big thanks to him for that. Okay. You guys should be able to see the shots there. I was aiming dead center at that oval, and they're just a little high and right. So I'll make an adjustment real quick. By the way, let me give you a look at this ammo here. Let's see, uh, these were the subsonics, which are actually these nifty little hollow points. If I get a focus on that, there you go. They're advertising 1,060 feet per second at the muzzle, 100 yards zero, you're 11, nine low at 150 I mean you can read it there you can pause and read and then the 125 grains here they are advertising 2185 with obviously a much more energy much better trajectory there and let's see if uh, I don't know if federal lists yeah it doesn't look like they got anything on the box I'll find what I can on the internet and throw it up for you guys about these uh, federal 150 grain though so a slight tweak on the scope. We'll work on perfecting the zero down here at 100 yards on the shoot and see. Has some previous 762 by 39 holes in it here, but we got three spots at least on it open to shoot at. So up first I'll run the Winchester, and then uh, second group will be with the Federal. Red dot on the left, and I just hit it with the first shot there. Red dot on top, and I also just hit it with the first shot. Wow, so <laughs> compared to that Winchester group, clearly she does not like the Federal there. I should quit while I'm ahead, but I'm going to take three more at the same spot. Uh, with the Winchester 125 grain and then three more at the same spot with the Federal 150 grain. I'll start with the Federal this time. We'll do it reverse order.
So yeah, clearly she likes the Winchester there, and I couldn't, it was getting difficult. Not only does that center dot on my scope, the crosshair, it completely covers those dots I was shooting at, but with all those shots on it, because it was like dead on and printing real tight, it was getting real hard for me to see what was left of that dot there, so I think that's why my group started opening up just a hair there, but clearly prefers the 125 grain Winchester over the 150 grain Federal. So I'm definitely going to have to use what's left of those 125 grain Winchesters for my further range shots here today. And, but real quick, let's try the subsonics down there at 100 yards. Aiming at the center oval. Wow, very surprising. Actually, not too bad. <laughs> it grouped those 200 grainers better than it did the 150s by Federal. So, I don't know. Maybe something's up with those Federal. It certainly does not like those. Uh, but that is a pretty crazy amount of drop down there at 100 yards. It was pretty much dead on at 50. You can see they do average slightly right compared to the faster ones. Uh, it's about 8 or 9 inches low down there with a 50-yard zero, 8 or 9 inches low at 100. But that group's not bad at all. It looks like about a 2-inch group. I'm sure those Federals are good enough to hit that target out there at 200 yards, but it's going to be kind of like plastered all over it. So <clears throat> as I said, I'll just use the Winchester. I'm definitely going to have to get some more of these. So we're zeroed for 100, obviously. So it should be about 7 inches low at 200 yards. We'll test that theory. You know, it could vary some from gun to gun and barrel length and whatnot. Although I think most 300 blackout reaches maximum velocity out of a 16 inch barrel generally um so i have some previous shots down there 762 by 39 low this should drop seven inches so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to aim at the little ear at the top that the target's hanging from and that should put our shots somewhere close to center down there at 200 yards All right, three pretty much centered hits there. I uh, pulled the one to the left slightly. That was my fault. But hopefully you see those three centralized shots down there. Even at that, even with me pulling that one off to the left there slightly, that's still about a five-inch group down there. I mean, I wasn't going for accuracy or anything like that, and I was kind of trying not to bump the camera too. But I'll take a couple more zoomed in for you here at 200 yards. Now, 300 blackout isn't at all a long-range cartridge, um, but I like stretching things, so I'm going to move that target two more mounds back, which will be 300 yards, and see if we can get some hits out there at 300. Now, obviously, we're going to have a lot of drop out there. I think the uh, trajectory is similar to 762 by 39 you know, the AK, the SKS round, so should be looking at like 25 to 30 inches of drop out there, so my first few shots might be a little experimental. All right, looks like I just barely missed high right, and I think the right was me pulling it a little bit. Let's try again. Well, I was right. I did jerk that one off to the right uh, because I aimed off to the left intentionally just in case it wasn't me. And you can see they're all hitting off to the left there. So that thing being off the right, that was 100% me jerking it. So I think I got three shots left. 
I'll just bring it back to the center for these last three. Well, what can I say? She ran 100% flawless for me today, even with the subsonic rounds. And it really likes this Winchester ammo. Definitely does not like the Federals, the 150 grain at least, but um, we were getting real good groups down there. Again, this is just a 1 to 6 LPVO. I'm not very good with only 6 power trying to group at 100 yards. I'm okay with 9 power. I really want 12 power or more to really zoom in and get nice tight groups. So I managed that with a little 1 to 6 LPVO, LPVO there. You know, that first group with the Winchester down there at 100 yards, the 125 grain, that was looking right about an inch at 100 yards, maybe a hair over. Uh, this thing certainly seems to be shooting about an inch and a quarter down there, maybe an inch with those Winchester. So exceptional accuracy, as always, from a BCA free-floated there. Got her out 200, no problem. Even got her out to 300 yards there. Um, and I'm not going for pre precision, especially not with a little six power out there at 300 yards and those first three shots again they were off to the left because that was me uh you know compensating because i wasn't sure if that first shot that i pulled way off to the right was me or not um so but aside from that just over fist size group down there at 300 yards with a six power scope and i wasn't even you know, i wasn't going for precision i was just aiming where i was aiming and pulling the trigger so looked to be about a six inch group down there at 300 yards, but you could definitely tighten that up. So that's actually really freaking good uh, for a 300, bra uh, 300 blackout. Excuse me, I can't talk today. And like I said, ran 125 grain, 150 grain, and the 200 grain subsonics. No issues. 100% flawless today. Really impressed. Also really love the way that, that bear claw looks there. <laughs> so there's that too. It looks pretty sick. Uh, but I don't think you can complain, complain for an upper that comes in well under 300 bucks there. So that'll do it, guys. You'll see more of this upper coming up. I'm going to have some caliber comparisons. 300 blackout to 762 by 39 Compare it to 350 Legend, 3030 hopefully, 360 uh, Buckhammer. I want to get the 400 Legend. Uh, but you'll definitely see more of that upper in uh, upcoming videos. If you guys want to get any products you see me using in the videos, like the shooting bag there, earg muffs, safety glasses, paper targets, steel targets I use and more, links in the description. Appreciate you stopping by and checking this one out, and I hope to catch you on the next one.